In this video, we'll be covering the partial goodwill and the full goodwill method and see how these two methods uh, compute the goodwill as well as the non-controlling interest or NCI or some people will call it minority interest. Now, uh, under IFRS, you can use uh, the companies can use partial goodwill or full goodwill method but under US GAAP, you can only use uh, full goodwill method. So under the partial goodwill method under uh, IFRS, the goodwill is computed based on the acquisition price minus the percentage of uh, in the acquisition okay multiplied by the fair value of the subsidiary's identifiable net assets and then to compute the non-controlling interest you will take the percentage for the NCI okay which is the minority uh, ownership and then multiply by the fair value of the subsidiary's identifiable net assets now uh, I'm highlighting this uh, as blue so because later on when we talk about full goodwill they are using a different basis to compute NCI so now we move on to full goodwill so under this, the goodwill will be based on the fair value of the subsidiary, okay, the whole subsidiary, 100% of it, minus 100% of the fair value of the subsidiary's identifiable net assets. So we are now taking 100% of it. Now for the NCI portion, you will take the NCI percentage, okay, uh, again, but this time around, we will multiply it by the fair value of the subsidiary and not the identifiable net assets. So that's one important difference to take note for these two methods. Now let's take a look at this example where we have parent co that acquired 80% of subsidiary co for £620,000 of cash. So the fair value of subsidiary co itself is £775,000. So calculate the goodwill and the non-controlling interest using the partial goodwill method. So we have the parent here, the book value in their balance sheet and then this is the subsidiary the book value and the fair value at the point of acquisition all right so we have these items uh, cash and receivables inventory net ppe the payables the long-term debt and the net assets so now we are going to use the partial goodwill method to compute goodwill first okay so in this case what we'll do is uh, the goodwill is based on the acquisition price okay if you use the formula the acquisition price is six hundred and twenty thousand pounds okay then we minus the percentage that is acquired here which is 80 percent okay they're acquiring 80 percent then you multiply by the fair value of the subsidiaries identifiable net assets okay which is uh, six hundred thousand so here we are going to get uh, four hundred and eighty thousand right so with that, your goodwill uh, amounts to 140,000. Okay, so this amount will be recorded under your uh, non-current assets. Now after that, how do we compute the NCI? So the NCI here will be based on the percentage for the minority shareholders, which is uh, 20%. Since you acquire 80%, that means 20% will be the minority shareholders. And we're gonna multiply this by 600,000. All right, so that would be 120,000. So in other words, for parent co, parent co is acquiring 480,000 and the minority shareholders are getting 120,000. Okay, so this would be reported under equity. Now, what if we were to use the full goodwill method to compute the goodwill and the non-controlling interest? So now for the same example, so the goodwill will be equals to the fair value of the subsidiary, okay, which is 775,000. And then we'll minus, uh, of course, uh, you can uh, just put 100% here just to emphasize that we assume under full goodwill, we assume that there is a 100% acquisition. Okay, you can leave this out if you want to, but I'm just putting it there to emphasize that point. So we uh, multiply that by 600,000, which is the identifiable net assets of the subsidiary. Okay, so that will be 175,000. All right, so that's the goodwill recorded under full goodwill method. Now, this time around for NCI, be careful. When we calculate NCI, you will take 20%, okay, which is uh, based on the 80-20. So 20%, this time you will multiply by the fair value of the subsidiary, okay, which is uh, 775,000. All right, so that will be equals to 155,000 pounds. Okay, so that's the NCI under the full goodwill method. So of course, when you compare both methods, you will see that under the partial goodwill, method, the goodwill computed and the NCI computed will be less than the goodwill and the NCI for the full goodwill method respectively.